Hey there, Goblin here, and today we're having Last Epoch Falconer reveal. Falconer is, of course, the last mastery that we haven't seen yet, but now it's out and we can see some of the skills and builds for it. Now, skills here are Falconry, Explosive Trap, Net, Aerial Assault, and Dive Bomb, and all of those can already be planned for on maxroll.gg, link in the description, so you can plan ahead and you can already see what you want to play as the falconer now here is a little bit of suggestions of course with the skill showcase and the build showcase themselves and the first skill we have is falconry it summons a falcon that fights along you now the falcon is invincible so he can never die basically he's much much better than you are and uh, he is your superior so you'll just have to live with that uh, but he flies around and Packs your enemies, that's just the basics of what he does, but of course he has falcon strikes. So he swipes across the screen and hits your enemies like this. This ability is on cooldown, so you will need some uh, cooldown reduction so you can uh, use the skill in an optimal way, but he does quite a lot of damage here. Just swipes across the screen and deletes everyone who wants to oppose you. It's a very very nice AoE clear. I don't know how the single damage is, the showcase didn't really show much of the single target damage, but what you can do is you can upgrade this so your falcon throws acid flasks. Uh, so as you can see here you throw one and he throws a lot more. So that is a buff to Acid Flask, which right now is slightly underwhelming, but with the Falcon throwing them, uh, basically turning into a B-52 Bomber, the skill becomes much better. Then next up is Aerial Assault. With Aerial Assault, you basically become the bomb, and uh, the Falcon picks you up, throws you, and at the end of it, there's a little bit of uh, Feather Burst Attack. Very good for traversing fast, very good for mapping. But of course it also have another application. Now there is a build called Umbra Blades already, but with the Falcon it becomes a little bit better because you throw the blades as you land. When the Falcon picks you up and throws you, then you land and Twilight Strike just does damage to everyone around it again very very good for mapping seems really really fast clearer of the monoliths even faster than they already are right here you can see all of the purple explosions a quick note if you like the video like subscribe comment what build you will play first might not be falconer might be but you can share the ideas with everyone else and if you like the game you can buy it on nexus.gg I have a link in the description to my nexus I want to help the channel out a little bit next up is the dive bomb so in this one Falcon uh, decides to become the bomb and not the bomber anymore it just slams into the ground and uh, damages quite a large area so once again we see that this is very very focused on AoE damage, all of the skills until now were AoE focused and of course there's more interaction than just him um, slamming into the ground. Uh, you can explode the decoy and do even more damage. So if you tech into decoy uh, you can place the decoy down and then your falcon slams into it and just destroys everything. These void horrors here, they don't stand a chance. So there are some very very nice interactions. You can tell that Falconer is one of the newer masteries, unlike let's say Spellblade or Shaman. Uh, and a lot of thought has been put into it. Uh, right now, Rune Master, Warlock, and Falconer are the newest masteries. Of course, you can also play other and uh, 
clear end game content without any problems but this just looks very very cool so next up is explosive trap now on the surface this looks just like your basic trap playstyle. you place the traps and then they explode uh, you can have six traps up at any time but they do uh, different elemental damage so we have fire trap lightning and cold and uh, you can use the traps to your advantage so let's say the enemy is resistant to fire there's also cold and lightning so you can damage them very very easily again nice clear but this one might work for bosses too because if you throw a lot of traps on them and they explode probably a lot of damage Uh, just running through the map and this is a high level uh, character and map too so you can see it's very very good at clearing seems a little bit better at clearing than my rune master currently is and even he is very good but then we come to the bow interaction right here so this is actually a uh, marksman mastery but it uses some of the falconer skill tree and it's just exploding arrows plus a lot more from Path of Exile. Now, a note here, uh, the skill doesn't work as intended. It shoots a little bit more of projectiles as it should. Next up, we have the net. This is a support skill. You throw the net, you immobilize your, your enemies and just destroy them with whatever you want. Probably a dive bomb, but of course, this is not the only interaction. You can uh, make your trap into caltrops. Right here, you can see how Tarek is doing it. Every creator that was testing the builds is, of course, credited here. And you can see the caltrops are falling down, damaging the enemy. Very, very similar to uh, Guild Wars 2 Thief, who himself has caltrop abilities, and I should know because I was a thief. And it just combines other skills with it and uh, again it looks very effective at clearing the rooms and the maps. So here we have a little bit of a combination of the skills. Now some of them have a uh, leech on life and as you will see it, that has been changed so leech, leech is no longer in, it's now hit. It's now hit, uh, life on hit, but uh, the thought behind it is the same. As you hit the enemy, you gain some life back. So that's uh, very good defensively too. If you get caught in uh, inside a circle of mobs, but I can't see how that would happen because everything is just melting in the way of the falconer. I was going to play as Rune Master first, but uh, this makes me rethink some things here. Especially the bow trap playstyle. Looks very, very fun. So I might go with the explosive trap bow build. Look at this, just running through everything. It is a little bit of a squishy build, this one, but if everything dies before it can touch you, you are okay. You don't need to worry about hell too much. So this is Volka's build, and it just looks great. It looks like it, it plays great too. So I'm guessing this will be my first one. I will put my twist on it. I encourage everyone to try to do their own build for the first time because the game does a very very good job of respecting except for the masteries of course but you go ahead and uh, kind of experiment maybe you'll find an even better build than Volka his here has and you can share it with everyone else then so this is the falconer showcase I have to say this looks one of the most fun masteries to play there's a lot of utility, a lot of map clear. I do wonder how they do in bosses. I guess I'll have to wait 
until February 21st, when the game comes out, of course. We'll get the Warlock and Falconer at 1.0. Okay, so if you like the video, like, comment, subscribe, tell me what you think about the game, tell me what you think about Falconer itself, and uh, if you like the game, 35 bucks for the standard edition, you have also Deluxe and Ultimate for a little bit more, but the pricing is actually very, very sensible. Until next time, be good to yourself and others, Goblin out.